And now another video in our series of wedding tips for Connecticut brides. We're talking with Patty Manciero. Patty is a wedding receptions expert and events coordinator at Fantasia, serving Connecticut and New Haven area brides. When visiting a reception site for your wedding day, you should be prepared with many questions. Not one question is important, more important than the other. So some of the things that I think you should ask are the capacity of the room. You'll have your guest list, and so what you want to find out is, will the room accommodate my guests? Secondly, will there be someone the day of my reception to oversee all the details, such as a captain or a maitre d'? The next thing would be quality of food. Quality of food, it may not be important to some couples, but you have to think of the guests that you're inviting. Some are young, some are old. Um, and so quality of food will be important to them because you don't want them to leave the reception saying it was a beautiful place, very organized, but the food was awful. So that's very important. And then of course the place. The place itself, you have to be comfortable in. You have to feel like this is where I want to spend my day. So, you know, those are important things. But then it, in addition to that, you should make sure that they're organized by asking them, do we have a bridal room to go to after photographs and before introduction? Who helps out with the actual introduction of the wedding party? Will I go into my first dance right away? Should my wedding party join in? You'll have to determine your head table prior to that as far as how you would like your head table done, the traditional way, sweetheart with just the bride and groom, or just round like the guests. So many ways to do it. But once the head table is determined, obviously it will be set up that day and then everyone takes a seat. Who will make sure that the toast is done? Who will make sure that there's a blessing if, there's part, if that's part of your reception? And then how long does it take to serve dinner? Give them the amount of courses so they can give you an idea of how long it takes. They really should be able to give you a timing as far as what's going to happen when, um, you know, so that you feel comfortable knowing what they're doing. And then some of the other questions is, is how many wait staff will be serving the meal? Is it one wait staff to three tables? Is it, you know, two wait staff to six tables? It's important that you ask that question because you don't want your guests waiting for anything that day. And then of course, the cake cutting and the parent dances. And then garter bouquet, which is sort of getting to be a little obsolete these days, but couples still do it. Um, and then who's gonna set your room prior to the wedding? Do you have to come in to put your favors on? Do you have to come in to do your centerpieces? Um, so questions like that are very, very important. You could probably find a list of questions uh, in some of the most popular magazines that you see around, or actually go online. I'm sure there's plenty of sites that will give you those questions. But those are some of the most important ones I feel you should ask. We've been talking with Patty Manciero, local wedding expert and events coordinator at Fantasia in North Haven, Connecticut. Now, before you book a venue for your special day, visit the website or text now for more free wedding planning videos, plus a special reception planning guide for area brides. It includes the top insider tips you must know before you book a venue for your wedding. You'll also get Wedding Savings Revealed, a 68-page ebook, and be entered into a free honeymoon drawing. Go to the website listed here or text your name and email to the number listed right now. Thanks, and we'll see you there.